Hey guys, what is up, and I welcome each and every one of you to a new League of Legends video. So my voice is finally almost back to its normal, but I obviously did not make this video to just say that. I made this video to talk about a very specific champion for the mid lane, kind of my secret weapon, a champion that not only do I almost never see in the mid lane, nor do I even see picked to be completely honest, but also a champion that I personally never thought that I would be playing. But I decided to go out of the box and try something completely new, and I gotta say, I'm really liking her. And I really want to start making more of these kind of videos where I show you guys a really cool pick in the mid lane. Something that is out of the ordinary, but it works surprisingly well. So let's go into Quinn and let's talk about why I personally think that Quinn is such a strong mid laner. First I want to talk about what you can do at level 1 as the laning phase starts. You want to get your passive on the enemy champion, auto attack him to proc it, use your E which would then put the passive on them again, and then auto attack them once more. Most people will simply not expect it because they're just not used to it. And it will give you huge advantage in the laning phase for the first few levels. So that right there is a pretty cool trick that I recommend you guys try. But let's talk talk more about the reasons as to why I think Quinn is actually pretty good. So the first thing, kind of based on what I just showed you, she has great lane bully power. Her passive does seem to prioritize champions, so if you position yourself correctly, a lot of the times the passive will go on the champion and you can simply proc that to get a lot of damage. Your E also instantly procs the passive as well, giving you even more trade damage. Then you have her Q, which against some people in the mid lane, will pretty much cancel their ability to fight back. Which brings me into the point where I want to say that she's quite good against assassins. A lot of assassins do rely on auto attacks and gap closers, but not only can she cancel their auto attacks thanks to her Q, but the second the assassin uses a gap closer, for instance Talon's E, Fizz's E, you can instantly use your E ability as well, the Vault, and you'll push them back and you'll gain distance and then they simply can't get back onto you as easily. On top of that, her E can be used in really cool ways such as this Riven example right here to go over walls and just escape a bad scenario almost instantly. Then you have her W, which is also quite good in the mid lane especially, because there's about 9 ways you can get ganked in the mid lane. Obviously there's the 2 rivers, and then there's the 2 ledges above and below them as well. So her W standing in the middle will reveal all 9 of these areas, so you can instantly see if a jungler is waiting in for the gank. And on top of that, you can also use her W when you want to go and place a ward or even a deep ward, so that you know no one is waiting for you in the brushes. Another cool thing I like about her in the mid lane specifically is her ultimate, because it gives you a lot of move speed when you're out of combat, and this is perfect when when it comes to ganking other lanes or maybe going into the jungle to assist an allied champion. And the final thing I like about her is obviously I enjoy playing assassins and I build her exactly like I would an assassin, so that's quite a big plus for me personally. But even with all those positives, I obviously have a few negatives to say about Quinn. The first one is that both forms, Quinn and Valor, share cooldowns on her abilities. For instance, playing as Quinn, if you use your Q, W, E and then switch to Valor from your ultimate, your Q, W and E are still on cooldown. Unlike someone like an Elise or a Nidalee, or even a Jace. So this makes it a little difficult to know when you can switch to your ult form and when you cannot. She is also somewhat reliant on utilizing her passive properly, especially during the laning phase. Because if you do not, you're missing out on quite a bit of damage. So that part may take a bit of practice. On top of that, like any other assassin, she can be quite weak if she falls behind or doesn't get quite ahead in the laning phase. And because her ultimate is somewhat difficult to use at the proper times, playing her in a teamfight could also prove to be somewhat difficult. And on top of that, of course, her ultimate does bring her into melee range rather than keeping her in ranged. A lot of different things to consider in order to play her properly, which does take some practice, but if you have the said practice and you get the idea of when to use what, this champion can definitely be quite an unstoppable force. So now with all those things being said, I'm sure a lot of you are curious, what exactly is the build? Well, let's first go into the items. Like I said earlier, I do build her much like I do an assassin. In fact, I actually build her exactly the way I build Zed. Why? Because it just simply works. So I start off with a longsword and three pots. I rush the Brutalizer into a Blade of the Rune King, finish the Yomus, get the Last Whisper, and top it off with the Infinity Edge. You can definitely switch around some of the items if you so choose, but I do really like the Bork, Yomus, and Last Whisper. Now let's go into the runes and the masteries. For the rune page, this is a page that I simply made because it works, but you can definitely switch it up. For instance, you can replace the reds from Flat AD to Armor Pen, and if you have enough runes and rune pages, you can take out some of the blues and switch it out for some CDR and have one page dedicated to fighting AP mid laners and one page dedicated to fighting assassins or AD mid laners. For the yellows, I like the flat HP to ensure I win lane, but you can also get away with running some HP per level. And then for the masteries, I run 21-8-1. This mastery page is quite standard and it works quite well. I take that one point from the defense tree and put it into utility because I don't need the percent HP increase. Since I personally almost never get HP items when I play assassins, I like to go full out offense. But if you're someone that feels like we'll be building quite a bit of HP maybe after an item or two or even three, then definitely take out that point from utility and put it back in defense. 
But that's pretty much what I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video, my kind of secret hidden pick for the mid lane. So I really want you guys to try her out, play some normals with your friends or something, get the hang of her, and then tell me how you do after a few games. Don't forget, she's like an assassin, so she is somewhat of a risky pick. So make sure you do play her smart. But again, I did hope you guys enjoyed this video, maybe learn something new, try to think out of the box as well, and hopefully you guys try it, enjoy it, and have a lot of success as well. Tell me what you guys think, tell me how you do, please like the video if you enjoy it, share it with your friends, and I hope to see you for the next one as well. Peace.